Hey guys, I want you to pretend like I did a big speech on how I'm sorry that I uh, haven't been posting videos and how I'm gonna really try to do better to post videos and pretend like I sound like I mean it because I kind of do, but in the end of the day, I never end up actually posting more videos when it comes to videos outside of my sketchbook tours. Oh, wow, and that is not distracting at all. This page actually smells like nail polish, sharpie, and paint because it was done entirely in nail polish, sharpie, and paint. But welcome to my sketchbook. This book was started on July 31st and it ended on November 28th, 2021. This page, even though it's the first page, I love it. I just did some Pinterest people, you know, as I like to do. I did a little baby and a son next to my persona. And this is a lyric from a song I like. This page is actually very cool. That's my hand, by the way. Because, holy shit, it's a cutout. Oh my god. I did a little heart here. He has a nice little face. Uh, this is the day I got sushi. I did a little sketch of this old man that I found a model of on this reference website. I do not remember what website it was, but uh, I did. I didn't finish him, but I think he looks pretty good anyway. Up here we have a shoe and some doodles of my little baby niece. I'm trying to go fast because I don't know how much storage I have left on my phone and I don't want this tour to drag on for forever. Lemon Demon lyrics. Uh, so I actually got Poscas and this was my first time trying them out in this book. I had a lot of fun with them. This attempt is very rough but I get better with them and I ended up having a lot of fun with them and using them a lot in the sketchbook. Here's another graphite doodle. See, I wanted to, uh, I guess, kill myself without killing myself because I did this semi-realism type of thing with a mechanical pencil on flashcards, like the flashcards that you use at school. That's what this is drawn on. And it turned out really good. I sealed it with Mod Podge so it wouldn't, it wouldn't fade, but man, it took forever and it was so hard to blend. And as you can see, you know, the blending isn't necessarily great, but you know, I did what I could and I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, so on this page, I did this exercise where you take a picture of somebody, for, for this I use pictures of pe people on Pinterest, and um, you like block out their silhouette, and I did this all on Posca, by the way. You block out their silhouette, and then you go in and add the details on top of the silhouette. And honestly, it helped me with like my form and fluidity of poses a lot. And it was actually really fun and not that stressful to do. So I ended up doing it a few more times in this book and I'll probably end up doing it a lot more in the future. Right here are some faces that I made. I don't know, I just, I really love the way that these faces turned out. This page in general is amazing. I just love this one and this one in particular. And then a uh, full body of Krona because I realized that I don't do full bodies that much. And I just got done watching Soul Eater, so I figured why not. Here is my signature done in a font that I thought would be cool to put on my skateboard because I just got a skateboard. Uh, I went really hard on my skateboard for about two weeks and then it started raining for a week and I forgot I had a sketchboard and I haven't picked it up since so I just said sketchboard I mean skateboard. Um, here are my knees, actual photo of my knees, turning into baby doll heads because I've always thought that my knees look like baby doll heads. Here is a drawing of my legs. Uh, because I kept kicking the skateboard up and it kept hitting my legs and I bruised really easy so I just, man, I, my legs looked rough. So I, in case you haven't noticed from my previous videos, I have a intense interest of clowns and anything clown related and these are actually clown isopods and I want to own a tank full of them one day. So based off of clown isopods, I drew this little clown here. And on this page, I drew that one bitch from Over the Garden Wall. Okay, his name is Enoch. Anyway, um, I don't like the composition of this page. I tried making it better by like adding these like little fairy cards, but you know, they're cute, but they didn't really help that much. It's just kind of a messy composition, but that's okay. It's a sketchbook. It's not like it's anything crazy, you know, you know whatever. Um, I love this page. I did that exercise again where you block out the silhouettes and it turned out even better this time. Uh, and I drew my brother Tyler right here. I initially drew him first and I was like, well, what am I going to do with this extra space? So I did this all in Posca and then I drew my sister sitting here and I was like, what am I going to do with this extra space? So I just filled it in with these funky little patterns. Love that page. Uh, this page is pretty self-explanatory. I did some hand studies. Uh, I did a drawing of my character Jinx, uh, and I did a drawing for the first day of fall of my persona. Happy fall, y'all. 
Uh, I did some figure studies. Please don't take me down, YouTube. This is all for artistic, uh, whatever. And on this page, it's an alien that my sister drew. It looks really good, though. I love it when my sister draws stuff in my sketchbook. Oh my god, this, uh, kind of got some traction on TikTok. It is Emo Squidward and Emo Spongebob. Uh, they're boyfriends, and I just really wanted to draw them one day, and I was like, you know what? Nothing's stopping me, so. This is an old commission that I did a while ago. I just found it in an old sketchbook, and I decided to glue it in. Here's a drawing of, uh, my OC Pinya, but I didn't finish coloring him, because, I mean, look how, uh, gross that was turning out. I just didn't feel like finishing it, man. More doodles of my persona and some water bottles and cans that were sitting on the table. Uh, this was another example of me, I guess, wanting to kill myself without actually killing myself because this was also in graphite, mechanical pencil. Even though I was lacking in, 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 in supplies, I did, I did pretty good in the execution. Uh, old drawing, old drawing, old drawing. Again, from a sketchbook that I found and I just taped them in there. Alright, so this was the start of October and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do Drawtober. And for those of you who don't know, Drawtober is a challenge that artists do where they try and draw something every day for the month of October. Um, as you can see, I did day one, which was doll for the prompt that I was following, and day two, which was best friend, and these are my OCs, Jinx and uh, Finura. Uh, and then I gave up, whatever. Little self-portrait. A drawing of my OC Ashton and a drawing of my wife Marge. In here, this handy little pocket is a uh, sequence drawing, I guess, of this lady kicking. I messed up around this area because uh, I tried drawing it while it was taped in the book and, you know, it kind of messed up. But that's okay. It doesn't look bad if I don't point it out and that's why I pointed it out. Ah, okay, this was a glorious day. This was whenever I finally got charcoal pencils, you know, for all the fucking mechanical pencil realism stuff I've been doing. You'd think I would have had charcoal by now, but no. This was my first time ever using charcoal. I did some latex studies, and oh my god, I fell in love with it. The background is Posca. This was me doodling some concepts, uh, really badly, by the way, the ink smeared and everything. But this was me doodling some concepts for an OC redesign of my OC Amelia. And as you can tell on this page, uh, I watched Moral Oral, which is an adult swim show, uh, and fuck, I loved it. It was great. Um, and I couldn't stop drawing fan art, and I just love the way that this page looks, just with all of it. It just looks so clean, and it makes my heart so happy. Anyway, let's linger on this page. Let's draw it in. Okay, good. On this page, I did some stats of me, as you can tell, I'm very attractive. Did some figure studies. Uh, again, YouTube, please don't take me down. I'm just an artist. I don't even have $30 to my name. I'm just trying to do some artistic stuff. Some more figure drawings. And Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, because I actually don't like Coke, but Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, I will make an exception for. And it tastes like Mountain Dew, but it doesn't hurt when I drink it like most sodas. Here's a profile picture I drew for Halloween of my persona, in case you can't already tell. Here is the palm tree in my backyard. Here is some uh, concepts for a little clown that I was drawing up, a little clown character, because I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I got a tattoo of a clown? Yes, it would be. Uh, I did a clown again for Halloween. Uh, I draw clowns a lot. It's a common theme. And then this is also a view from my backyard. That's what it's called. More clowns. Oh my god, it's a surprise. This one's in a sunflower, this one's blue, and this one's got orange stuff. Here's a Posca drawing that I did of someone on Pinterest. That's very common in my sketchbooks, you'll find out. Oh, I had so much fun with them, man. I gotta get more. I did some chains because I didn't know how to fill this space. Fun fact, I actually did a process video on this drawing and this page layout in particular, but uh, when I got done drawing it, I realized that my phone only recorded three minutes of the process. And that's why I didn't <laughs> release a video when I said I was going to, because that really discouraged me. But, you know, whatever. I guess I'll have to use my old phone to record longer videos. Uh, drawings of some people I saw when I was getting boba. I love boba. It is so yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Pinterest, uh, teeth. Love drawing some teeth and some orange and reds and greens. My favorite color palette to draw with is red and orange and green. 
slash teal. So good. Here's some drawings of some brain scans that I did. Here is a drawing of my character Andy. And here's some hand studies. Oh my god. Guys, guys, guys. This pin right here. It is a Tombow pin. You know how I get like the Tombow Fudenosuke pins? I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm so sorry. Um, it's one of those except for on this side it's got a, a black tip and on this side it's got a gray tip. Look at that. That is so amazing. Oh my god, mind blown. Anyway, I got that pin off of Amazon and as you can see from the next few pages, the next few pages were all drawn within an afternoon, okay? I went crazy with it, but regardless, uh, I did some drawings of my OCs. There's Andy, Andy again. There's the OC that I have called the Mage. Uh, here's some drawings of Damien because he is my favorite OC. Don't tell anyone, shh. And here's a bad drawing that I did of Jinx, uh, Pinterest again. I do really like the way that this one turned out though. I think it turned out very nice. You'll hear me say that a lot about my art though. I think I tend to praise myself a lot, which isn't a bad thing. I actually consider it a good thing. Oh shit. <laughs> the next few pages were drawn in the span of an afternoon. This page was not. I actually skipped this page for some reason and came back to it. My bad. Uh, here's kind of the design I settled on for uh, Amelia. Uh, I'll put in what I settled on for her final design. I did some faces and some triangles and balls and cubes because I needed something to fill the space. More people at the Boba shop. I had such a fun time. I love getting Boba. Okay, these pages were drawn within the span of an afternoon. These, that's crazy. These pages and the page, the page before the page that I was on just now. So I did that expression thing on Instagram where you post an expression chart and you're like, hey, choose an, an expression for me to draw my OCs in. And I let my Instagram followers choose the expression and I just went in straight with it with pen. And I don't know if any of that made sense, but I'm not gonna try and explain myself further. So you're gonna have to decipher what the hell I was trying to say there. Here are some more on this page. This was whenever Halloween was coming up. I went to visit my friend Mia to stay at her house for a few days. So the next few pages aren't gonna be that great, but they're, they're gonna be something. Here is a clown mask that Mia has in her room and I really wanted to steal it. He stared at me in my sleep and, you know, I felt loved. Here's my OC Kelly. Candy. I was a vampire for Halloween because all I had to do was put fake blood on and there you go, I was a vampire. So this uh, page was me uh, thumbnailing some tattoo ideas for uh, a person I know in school. These all sucked though. I didn't go with any of these. I went to a design closer to this with a snake. She had a butterfly on her forearm that she wanted to add on to. So that way the ta she had a tattoo with butterflies that was like going up her arm. And she wanted me to incorporate either a sun, a moon, a snake, or something else. I don't remember what the other thing was. That might've been it. I don't know. I drew a little Pirio clown here. I did some facial studies, uh, just some random people. And I put a bunch of stickers on here afterwards in an attempt to make the pages look better. Spoiler alert, it did not make it look better. Another kind of bland page, because I was at Mia's, but I did some uh, some studies of some shoes. I did a clown drawing that I appreciate. I did some thumbnail, a thumbnail for like a painting that I maybe wanted to do, but no, I don't think I will do it. From Keith, I love these two love these two oh my god here's another perio or this might be considered a harlequin i'm not sure it's kind of a mix of the both but the pattern leans more towards harlequin but you guys don't care about that because you guys aren't obsessed with clowns <laughs> here is a drawing that i did a marker of my persona and i was like man i wonder if i can make a drawing look like uh early 2000s computer 3D rendering of a character, but just in marker. And I don't know if I achieved that, but I think I got pretty darn close. I don't know if you guys know what I mean or not, but I hope you do. Uh, this was on my plane ride back from my friend's house. I just drew my perspective on the plane and I found out that planes make me dizzy. Here are some people in the airport. There's this nice little old lady that sat down beside me and started asking me which people I was drawing. And she would be like, are you drawing that lady over there? And I'd be like, yeah. And she'd be like, oh, I can tell. She'd be like, you should draw that lady over there. I like her posture. And I was like, okay. Oh, we had such a great time. 
Um, I was there at the airport for like oh, so many hours. <laughs> yeah, for four hours because my uh, flight got delayed because I had to fly to another airport, wait there for four hours, and then take a flight to my house. So it stopped once is what I'm saying. Some more airport doodles. Uh, I'm not good at drawing planes, so I was like, I'll take this opportunity to draw some planes. This lady who I was drawing, she ran away. And whenever she came back, um, after I was done drawing her and I was already over here, she started glaring me down, man. And I was like, why are you glaring at me? I was drawing you like, 20 minutes ago, I don't know why you're looking at me now. So I don't know what her deal was, but I guess she caught me and she just decided to stare at me down like way later than the time that she caught me. I don't know, but I'm pretty proud of these uh, life drawings. <laughs> I think I captured everyone's likeness very well, which I usually don't feel that way whenever I do life drawings, but I think I did a good job. I am in an artistic boom right now. I'm doing so good artistically. Here is some drawings that I did whenever I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna draw. I'm just gonna draw and I'm gonna draw great things. And I did draw great things. I have been drawing great things. And I don't know what that was on my bed. But here's my drawing Here's my drawing of my character, Damien, in nurse lingerie. I went through a phase where I found lingerie on Pinterest and I was like, oh my God, I need to draw my OCs in themed lingerie. So that's what I did. It's Amelia in some like futuristic heart kind of, you know, lingerie. Here is my OC patch in sailor lingerie. Um, here are some more attempts of making my art look like a 3D rendering with markers somewhat. Uh, I didn't hit the mark as much with these. It looks really good with this little ramen bowl that I did though. I love this guy. This is like, this will make a great sticker. Um, and then I did the, the, the dog holding a, holding a blunt. He's, um, He's so cute. Every time I see that meme, I'm just like, oh my god, he is so cute. He is so stinking cute. Cannot see this. This I'm so sorry. I want to show you this because I just I really want to show you this, but it is a part of an art telephone that I'm doing, which means that I cannot show it to you in fear of somebody else seeing it who is not supposed to see it. If you know what an art telephone is, then then you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I don't feel like explaining it because I don't know if I can. I drew my sister here. I think I captured her likeness very well. I did some fan art for The Last of Us Part 2 because I don't care what smelly gamers say. It's a good game. You just hate it because it's got trans people and lesbians in it. And then I did some drawings. Some of these are people that I saw in public and some of these are people that I saw on Pinterest. Here is my character Jinx in some cat lingerie. I was gonna do a full body of him like the others, but I could not find the room on this page, sadly. Oh my God, I wish I could show you guys that drawing. I love it so much, but I can't. I guess you'll just have to follow my Instagram and wait for me to post it whenever the other members of the art telephone do their parts. <laughs> Here's a Bobby from We Happy Few, but I made him like way too skinny. I like twinkified him. He's like a false stick. <sighs> He's not sexy enough. I did some studies of my own hand. I don't know why my hand looks so beefy there. That one was just a really rough study in some charcoal. I, you know, I, don't, I didn't really pay attention to lighting or anything, to be honest. I was just trying to capture the form. Here is a little cube room that I did. I'm pretty proud of it. Smiley centipede some clowns this was somebody else's character that i did for a secret santa and it's just a little blue frog and i was like that's so cute that's so stinking cute um this is actually out of my comfort zone i don't usually draw frogs i actually usually draw frogs like this this is usually what my frogs look like because i don't draw them that much this was some vent art we're gonna move on this is a bandage my sister got from the hospital isn't it so cute <laughs> It's got little bees on it, and she was like, oh, look at this little bandage I got, and I was like, give that to me. Give it to me. And I taped it in my sketchbook. Kind of gross. Yes. Do I care? No. And unfortunately, we've come to the last page, which is kind of lackluster, but it's okay. Uh, it's some 30-second figure studies. I'm kind of proud of these. I, I like these, the ones that I outlined in black. I really like. That's the end of my tour. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, follow if you want to see more tours and maybe the occasional video or two. You know, I'm gonna stop just promising consistent uploads because I don't think it's gonna happen for a real long time. My, my life is really hectic and it seems like every time I get in a position where I'm like, oh my god, finally, I can start posting more videos. Something crazy happens, like 
my phone decides to not record long videos anymore, so I have to go to my old phone and charge it up, but my old phone doesn't want to retain a battery long enough for me to charge to, to, to film a video, and my stuttering is kicking up, but you get the point. That is the end of this tour. Don't mind the mysterious substances on the back of my sketchbook. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh,